Gentlemen, welcome. I thought I'd bring you along to do an internal inspection. I'm inside this uh, a vertical drum that has a interesting liquid vapor interface zone and its corrosion in this location. What you're seeing on the walls is the depths of the pitting that I have found within the liquid vapor interface zone. So the interface zone. What you're seeing right here is the long seam or vertical. Notice there's the heat affected zone corrosion, the preferential corrosion right here at the edge of the weld. Um, I'm also seeing this hitting and it goes anywhere from 20, 35 thousandths all the way to 80 thousandths deep. It's all the way about or all the way around this pressure vessel. And this, uh, like you say, 60, there's a, there's actually an 80 over there on the wall. I don't, oh, there it is right there. An 80 on the wall right there. So, like I said, at first it doesn't look like it's very much, but you do shadow profile just like we've talked before, depending on how you light it, is whether or not it's easy to see. And when I've got the light at an extreme low angle or right angle to the surface, it, it's easy to see it observed. Notice it also has some scaling. That's not processed debris, that's actually a reaction with the uh, liquid and the material of the vessel. What's interesting is this thing has a vortex breaker, which is pretty common for a bottom nozzle, but it also has this anti-rotation assembly, anti-rotation bars or anti-rotation plates. And here, right at the weld, as it's welded to the shell, you see that one of the Fords, it's only one of them, but one of the four welds has preferential corrosion in the weld itself. And you, you notice the, the thickness is 125 thousandths, so an eighth of an inch, and that's in the shell. And then right here in the weld on the anti-rotation bars, it's actually 140 thousandths deep. So quite significant. And the 125 thousandths is in the basement. It's in the actual shell. Hope you guys can, can see that real well. Let's move the light around and kind of show you how the, the lighting changes. And if, if, it's, if it's here, straightforward, where you would view it, it doesn't look that bad. But when you do that shadowing, that side profile, you see that you can see the 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 fairly uniform pitting on the shell and that preferential corrosion in the weld. Anyway, I thought you guys might be interested in, in seeing that. And what's interesting is the, the top head has absolutely no corrosion, no pitting, no anything. The top weld in fact, it has so much full profile that over here on the shell, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I can point at it with my laser pointer. Hold on a second. No, I don't have it with me. Anyway, right, right up here on the gersey, right adjacent to the gersey, there's actually plate handling clamp marks showing the uh, original construction marks of the uh, of the shell. So it's interesting in that there isn't any significant corrosion above the vapor line in the vapor area, but once you get into the 
the vapor section right here, we see that it has a very significant band. And then once you get below that, um, there is pitting, but it's not real significant. In fact, it's it's so small diameter and so shallow, it's less than 10 thousandths deep and uh, real small diameter. Anyway, thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. Thanks for coming along. Talk to you guys later.